Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to tell crop production and management. In that second step, we are going to learn that is sowing. Okay, sowing of seed. Now, every seed which we sow, see the seeds should be in good quality to show uh, to sow. Now, how will you know that the seeds are in good quality? These seeds are poor, are in a poor quality. These seeds are good. How do we know? We have one small activity to know that. So, first, let us see what is that activity to test whether the seed is in good quality or in a bad quality. So now, let us take a bunch of seeds and now let us take a, a, a bowl of water and just. Uh, let us throw these seeds. Now, these seeds, some seeds get uh, floating on, uh, some seeds are floating on water and some seeds sink down the water. So, the seeds which are floating on water are poor quality seeds and, and the seeds which are sink and the seeds which sink down the water are good quality seeds. Why? See, the seeds which float on water, these seeds became hollow and became lighter they have little cracks on them and they became very lighter and they float on water so the seeds which are which float on water are poor quality seeds and the seeds which sink down the water are known as healthy seeds okay which we can sow now sowing where we should sow this seed where we should sow this seed in the soil we know that but on the top layer only we will sow like this no we won't sow on the top layer why we won't sow on the top of the soil because when we sow top of the soil the birds will come and they will eat away now if you sow deep under the soil in deep under the soil do we have any nutrients deep under the soil no we don't have any nutrients so if the seeds are shown uh, top uh, on the surface of the soil that the birds will eat away now if they are shown at the deep in the soil they won't get nutrients to grow now where they should be sown they should be sown at the middle of the soil so that uh, it will be in a correct depth. The, she, the seeds first should be checked that if they are poor quality seeds or healthy seeds. Poor quality seeds will separate from the healthy seeds and this healthy seeds will sow at the right depth. Now right depth will sow. Okay, think this is the soil and we, are, we have sown the seeds at right depth. Where we sow the seeds like this? Very close to each other? No, we won't sow. Why? Because now the if we will sow the seeds in a right depth, it is I mean in with the right spaces, then the it is necessary to avoid overcrowding of seeds. We should not sow like this because it will be uh, helpful to not overcrowding of seeds if you won't sow like this. If we have sown like this, it will be very uh, good. It will be good for seeds to grow. So, first what we will do, we should separate the poor quality seeds and healthy seeds. This healthy seeds we should uh, show, uh, show, uh, show at right depth and we should have correct spaces here. Now, because it should have correct spaces because we, it will be necessary to overcrowding of seeds. Okay, now let us see what are used nowadays and what are used in olden days to sow these seeds in a right depth. Okay, so now let us see traditional tool to sow the seed at the right depth and in correct space with the correct space. Now see traditional tool. The tool used traditionally for sowing seeds is shaped like a funnel. The seeds are filled into the funnel, passed down through two or three pipes having sharp ends. These ends pierce into the soil and place the seeds there. So this the tool, a traditional tool, is a tool the tool used traditionally. This is a traditional tool that which is used traditionally for sowing seeds okay sowing seeds is shaped like a funnel first it have a shape like a funnel then the seeds are filled into the uh, funnel passing downwards through two or three pipes 
types are having sharp pens. So this sharp pens pierce into the soil and places the seed there. So this is the traditional tool for sowing the seed. Fancy traditional tool. The tool used for uh, the tool used traditionally for sowing the seeds. It is shaped like a funnel which has two or three pipes. Uh, now in this funnel, the seeds are uh, the seeds. Uh, seeds is shaped like a funnel. The seeds are filled into the funnel, passed down with two or three pipes. So these pipes end have and uh, have uh, these pipe ends are very sharp and can pierce into the soil and place the seeds there. Okay, so this is the traditional tool. Now let us see a seed driller used for sowing the seed at right depth. So now let us see a seed drill. Nowadays. Seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors. So nowadays without wasting any time the seed drill is used for sowing a seed with the help of a tractor. The seed drill is used for sowing a seed. Now this sows the seed uniformly at equal distance and depth. It ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing. This protects the seeds from being eaten by birds. Sowing by seed drill saves time and labor. Now see here nowadays what is used seed drill is used for sowing a seed. Now this seed drill is uh, this seed drill is uh, used by the help of a tractor. Now this sows the seed. What is the use of this seed drill? It sows the seed uniformly at a correct depth and it ensures that the seeds get covered with the soil. If it get covered with the soil, it gets good nutritious and it will be not eaten by the birds also. Okay, now the seed drill is used. The seed drill is useful only now. So nowadays the seed drill is used for sowing a seed with the help of a tractor. Now the seed uniformly at equal distance and depth. It sows the seed at equal distance and depth uniformly at equal distance and depth. It ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing the seed. Why? Because it gets more nutrients and it will be not eaten by the birds also. Now the sowing uh, seed drill, uh, the sowing uh, seed by the seed drill helps um, saves uh, time and labor. Now with the help of this tractor easily we can sow the seeds uh, without wasting the time, without la wasting uh, labor also we can um, fastly sow the seeds so it saves time and labor now nowadays a seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors this sows the seeds uniformly at equal distance and depth it ensures that seeds are covered by the soil after sowing this protects from bird uh, eating of a bird and uh, it gets more nutrients also now sowing by a seed saves time and labor. So this is seed drill and this is the second agricultural practice which is uh, sowing. Okay. Now, so thank you everyone. Bye. Enjoy the share. Come to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.